Hey guys, um, what's up? It's the Turtle Guy 217 here. Um, I'm just going to be making a quick little video today on how to cure um, shell rot on a turtle. So first thing you're going to want to do is, um, this is my 20 gallon tank. It doesn't have any water in it, but it has the filter and some crusted up algae. But basically I have this on a stand and it's in a window, so it gets sunlight when it's not all raining outside. But whatever. Um, so whenever, so you want to make sure that it has sunlight and the turtle can dry off. Um, so basically, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a rubber tub big enough so that they can't get out of it, and um, just get some water from the tank. You want to make sure that you have enough water so that it covers the entire shell. Um, next thing you're going to want to do is um, get your bacteria, disinfectant, basically whatever. Um, Novastolin works the best, but it's also the most expensive, and if you can't get your hands on that, then um, use Betadine, which is what I had actually used, but I just ran out yesterday. So I'm just using hydrogen peroxide, which works basically the same, but it takes a lot longer. So I'm just going to use this for a couple of days until I buy some more Betadine. So um, you're just going to want to put some of it in, put some of the hydrogen peroxide inside the roommate tub, and then let's put that. My room's really messy right now. I have to clean it. And then, um, just going to want to get the turtle. And it's on my hieroglyphic cooter. You can see it right there. It's really small. It's not very big at all. So, I don't have, it doesn't take very long to cure it. The shell's already starting to grow back. Um, yeah, so basically you just put them in there like that. Um, and what I do is let them sit in there for about 30 minutes and then once the 30 minutes is up I take him out of the main tub, pour all the water put him in the tank where it's dry and then let him dry off with, um, with the sunlight and um, let him like completely dry off so he's not wet anymore so the it can disinfect it um, yeah so that's basically it um, it usually takes uh, one to two weeks, and if it doesn't take that long, and if it takes longer than that, then you're either not doing something, not doing it right, and you probably need to consult a veterinarian if it's really bad. So, uh, yeah, that's basically how you cure uh, mild shell rot. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.